Hello artists! Today we will be making a fish out of clay. First thing we're going to do is split the ball of clay about in half. We'll use this part later on, so put it underneath a wet wipe so it doesn't dry out. Pat the ball of clay into a circle and then drop it on the mat. And then wait. As a class, we will count one, two, three, and then you can pound it out. Don't get it too thin. You want it the size of an Oreo or about the size of your pinky. Check to be sure that the thickness is correct and that it is nice and even. Crumple up one of the little pieces of paper and place it in the middle of your circle. Now fold it in half like a taco. Pinch the edges together, creating the top fin. Don't pinch it too much because you still want it as thick as an Oreo. One end is going to be the mouth, so keep that open. And the other end is going to be separated to be the tail. Pinch the top and separate it slightly. Smooth out those edges and continue pinching the tail together. Smooth out the tip of the fin so that it looks like one solid piece together and make any other minor adjustments that you need. Now for the reserved piece of clay. From this piece you're going to be making the eyes and the fins. To attach the pieces you need to use the slip score smooth method. Slip is the watery clay, score is making the small abrasions, the very small cuts, and smooth out those edges so it looks like one solid piece. Score both parts of the clay with the toothbrush bristles, stick it together, and smooth out the edges. This is your fish project. You can add any details that you wish. For the side fins, make a ball of clay. Pound it out to a circle, remember the thickness of an Oreo. Split it in half and voila, you have two fins. Mold the fins, score both sides, and smooth out the edges so that they are joined. Remember, the toothbrush is to make very small cuts in the clay. It's not to bring water to the clay. Smoothing out the edges where the two pieces of clay combine is very crucial. You can add details to your fish with any extra clay or any of the tools provided. Be careful not to press too hard when you're adding textures. You don't want to puncture the clay. Write your name and class code on the bottom with the tool and line up for the teacher check. 